Hello everyone, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about web sockets. We will understand the need and usefulness of web sockets. Finally, we will implement web sockets in Python fast API application. So let's get started. This is a traditional client server communication protocol known as HTTP where client sends a request to server server processes the request and send a response to client but let's say a case where server has sent response to client and server wants to send another response to client in http protocol this cannot be possible you need a persistent connection like this between client and server so that at any moment of time client can send information to server and server then process the information and send response to client after sending response to client server can also send another set of information to client cause the connection is persistent some of the use cases of web sockets are chat or messaging application live notification live data streaming that happens in streaming of information like share market information now let's see how this works in action you can see i have two identical interface in two browser tabs it has input box and send button so when i say hi here you'll see that hi appears on another client as well if i write hi from other side let's say you'll see it appears to the first client as well and all of these is possible via websocket because this has sent a request that request was processed and then that request also broadcast information to this client and this client as well so let's see how this works i have a main.py file which has my fast api application on my home route i send HTTP content and the content is here this content creates a small input box with send button and you can see it connects to a web socket with a client ID client ID is date now that means whenever someone loads this HTML content a new connection is established between the server and the client with the client id which is the date time now that connection comes here at websocket endpoint it first creates a connection then while true whenever it receives the information it sends a personal message and it broadcasts the message to all the clients and in case of any error it disconnects and broadcasts that client left the chat now here only interesting thing is websocket manager that is this custom connection manager class it has couple of methods like connect disconnect send personal message and broadcast message since we are working with state of web socket we need to hold the state somewhere and that's why we are using this so the state of all the connection is in this manager variable in real cases these kind of things are managed using redis or any other quick retrieval and writable database 
So I guess this is it from my side. I hope you have gained some knowledge out of this quick WebSocket tutorial using Python and Fast API. The code used in this video is available on my GitHub and the link of it is in the description. If you like the work I put on my YouTube channel, consider subscribing to my channel. That helps. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the life. Feel the music. Peace.